a dawn. Keeping it on till the day stays strong. Rolling till the night time blazes on. All along, I keep singing my song. I'm Tim Morrison for Time.com. We're on a rooftop in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Uh, I'm talking to recording artist Mattis Yahoo. His new album is called Spark Seeker. It's out July 17th. This is a bit of a departure from you in terms of what you usually do. I tend to look at it as an evolution. I think my music has always been mixture multi-genre music and uh, depending on who I'm working with, what band, what musicians, what producer, is the direction that I, I lean in. This record, it's definitely leaning in more of a sort of a pop, urban, hip-hop kind of feel to it and uh, mixed with a, a world music type of vibe because we recorded in Israel. You worked with uh, Cool Kojak on this record. You've worked with Nicki Minaj and Keisha before. How did that come about? So a friend of ours hooked us up to just try writing together and we wrote Sunshine one day. Before we knew it, we had half a record, and he wanted to go to Israel, so... The past year or so, or six months, has been pretty busy for you, and there have been a lot of changes. And the big one came in December of last year when uh, you posted a picture of yourself without, without your beard, and you said something along the lines of, uh, no more Hasidic re reggae superstar. What was behind that decision? Well, I guess I just felt that I had shifted sort of my ideology a little bit, and I was opening up to a new, sort of a new, a new place within myself. Do you no longer consider yourself a, a part of that community? Well, I lived in Crown Heights for the last decade. That was a very monumental part of my life, and I learned a lot from immersing myself into a culture in such an extreme way. And, uh, and then there was also, you know, darker sides. And then I had this music career, and, you know, I had all of a sudden I was selling hundreds of thousands of records and living, you know, in this little community. And, you know, it was, you know, you'd eaten alive. But, but at the same time, my kids were in school there and we had friends there and I met good people there too, so, you know. When you took your, your name, Mattis Yahoo, when you converted um, originally to Hasidic Judaism, uh, right now, do you ever go back to being Matthew Miller? Who knows, but I still feel a strong connection with my Hebrew name and, and with, uh, I still feel a very strong connection with Judaism, you know, I might not, uh, uh, sort of blindly agree with every dimension of it, as I once tried to, you know, to do. But um, there's, to me, there's so much there. Uh, there's so much. It's so much a part of me. So, Mattis Yahoo, thanks very much again. Thank you. Sky,